there's your intro right there. And uh, it's really an important thing because it runs through quite a bit of the song. All right, <clears throat> I'm holding the fifth string, tenth fret, the second string, twelfth fret, okay? And I'm going to, with my right hand, I'm going to hit my thumb on the fifth string and my middle finger on the second string. I'm just going to go back and forth twice. So it's like five, two, five, two. I do the same thing at the fifth string, fifth fret, second string, seventh fret. Just do each twice and then you pause. Now I come up with a different fingering. Now it's the fifth string, second fret, second string, third fret. I'm going to use my third finger for that one. Do that one twice. Then I'm going to take my middle finger and sneak it in. Uh, it's the second string, second fret. And I'm going to use the open fifth string. That's my last one. I don't try to go like, you know, I don't, I don't try to move that around. I, this guy, sneak him right in there. He's right there anyway. He's doing nothing. So. That's once through. They do that twice. That's your intro. All right. When, when the words start, we're calling this the verse. When the verse starts, <clears throat> you do that whole thing three times, okay? Then the fourth time, they just change it slightly. They just cut off the last one at the end. So they go... So instead of doing that one twice, they do it once, the fourth time through. So I'll play a whole verse so you can get the idea, right? That was once. That's the third time. Now Are good, that's when it changes. And then they're back to okay. So we're calling this the chorus part. And yes, it's all bar chords. Uh, we can simplify it somewhat, but uh, you're still going to have to do two bar chords out of the four chords anyway. So I figured the easiest thing to do is just to move up the neck. Hey, I have fifth graders doing this, okay? You can do it too. Of course, they've been playing for three years. <laughs> so if you're in that first year or two of playing, um, this part's probably not for you. Uh, unless you battle through it. So you need an F sharp minor. I'm going to borrow the whole 2nd fret, and then the 5th string, 4th string, 4th fret, okay? That's my F sharp minor. Notice it looks like an E minor, and you're just almost putting like a capo down your first finger. You're borrowing. So that's an F sharp minor. I'm going to do a short strum like down, down, down on that one. And really all I'm doing is I'm taking these two and putting them together because it's a finger picking song, half of it. So I'm just putting these two together instead of reaching for a pick. That's how I'm doing it. You can do it with your thumb, nice and easy, just like that, like a ukulele, if you want. All right, then I'm going to move to the third fret, same exact thing. So you bar the third fret, fifth string, fourth string, fifth fret. I'm going to take my middle finger and put it on the third string, uh, fourth fret. That's a major, so that comes from the E chord. See that? So that's the third fret. I'm going to come up with a longer strum, like down, up, down, down, down. Sorry. Down, up, down, down. together it's like so it's down up down down up down 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 up then I'm gonna move that same shape to the fifth fret that's an A chord now uh, bar in the whole fifth fret third string sixth fret and then the fifth string fourth string at the seventh fret that short strum that I did at the second fret is gonna happen now so down up down that's it. Then you move the whole thing to the seventh fret, but lift up the middle finger and get it off of there. So this is a B minor chord. So you're barring the whole seventh fret, <clears throat> fifth string, fourth string at the ninth fret. Down, up, down, down, down. That's 
the longer strum that you did on the G chord. Okay? So here it is. And you do that three times in a row. Okay? The fourth time that you play it, they cut it off. So they go. When they get to the fifth fret, they just hit it once, and then that's the end of that. And then they're back into the finger picking part. Okay, that's our chorus. Now, um, you might say, well, you said G and A, so why can't I do the easier chords? You can, but you still have to do the F sharp minor. Um, so you can twist around like this. I did the B minor down at the second fret instead of going all the way up there because of the way you know, the other chords were down here, but it's still two bar chords, so, and you have to twist around and stuff, so, to me, it's just as easy to go right up with using the bar chords. So you could do it that way, too, if you want. All right, so at this point in the song, after the chorus, we have a little interlude. It's just this, one time through. That's it. Then you're done with that. Then another verse comes in, which means you do this again, the three times, and then the fourth time, you cut it short like that, and then the bones are good again is the chorus. Okay, that part. Then we have like this little, we'll call it a bridge. It's, um, I, I know there's lyrics involved. I think it's just like, oh, you know, that sort of thing. It's, uh, you'll hear it in the song, because you'll end on this A. And then it seems like the chorus continues, because it's just this progression. But they do it twice. So I'm calling that a bridge, just like tagged on to that second chorus, okay? Then you got the verse comes back, the... And you do that four times, cutting it off at the end. Then the chorus comes back with the chorus, just the way it did before. And then the outro is this finger picking part. Just like the intro. They do it twice. And then they just end like that. Okay? And that's when the bones are good. Uh, hopefully I didn't go too fast for you, but uh, I've been teaching it a lot, so uh, <laughs> it's just uh, it's pretty easy. It's like an intro, a verse, a chorus, a little interlude, a verse, a chorus, then that bridge section extended onto the uh, chorus there, and then another verse, a chorus, and then the outro. Couldn't be more easy. It's really like two things you got to know, really. Okay? Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Please subscribe. Play more guitar.